Here's five drills you can do from the comfort of your own home with nothing more than a pair of flip flops, some tape, and a wall to pass off of that will keep your touch sharp and consistent. The setup for this drill is extremely simple. All you need is a wall to pass off of and any two objects to be used as a All we're doing here is pushing the ball forward, pulling back, and sliding across. The slide across needs to be a perfectly weighted touch and should be your main focus in this drill. In a game, your first touch should be into the direction you plan on moving into, which is why the angle you're receiving this ball at is crucial in guiding you into the next step of the drill. Having the ability to move and change direction quick while keeping the ball under control will get you out of a lot of tight situations in a game and is exactly the goal of this drill. Faster you can get with these movements while maintaining control, the harder it will be for your defender to take the ball. Here we combine the last two tips, having both the proper weight and angle on our foot when receiving will help us set up the next step and keep the whole movement fluid and proper. And again, your first touch needs to be perfect here as it can be a make or break for you when progressing through the drill. While there's a lot of different things we can focus on when it comes to this turn, a good place to start would be making sure that the ball is in constant motion, never letting it come to a complete stop. As you get more comfortable, start adding emphasis on the turn as if you're faking a shot or pass. This addition will perfectly mimic you receiving a ball in a game and moving it into space. Make sure when receiving, we're opening up the hips, facing into the direction that we want to move. One key in this drill is keeping a low center of gravity. With so many movements and touches going on, it's easy to lose balance. Keeping your knees bent and your center of gravity low will help you keep maximum stability throughout your set. In my opinion, this is one of the most overlooked drills just because of its simplicity. Focus on keeping close control around and between the cones. You may not have cones to weave through when in a game, but with the ability to turn that quickly with that much control, it's bound to break some ankles sooner or later. 